Hi, I'm Wally with Roof and Ride with David Wally. Once again, I'm going solo today. We're gonna to go over our PVC accessories. This one in particular would be our universal outside corner. So there's a lot of different uses for these. There's a reason why they're called a universal corner. So I've got a corner right here. Uh, what I would do is actually tells you we could actually cut the top of this off and it'll tell you there's a dotted line right here. It says do not cut above, above the line. So you actually cut this off and boom, I have an outside corner. Now there's other uses for these too, not necessarily outside corner, like on top of a parapet wall. I can use these here. If I have another roof section that jumps up, I can use it here on the outside of an edge detail, scuppers. There's all kinds of uses for these, hence the name universal. But today we're gonna to be using on this outside corner. So once I get this cut, I mean, it's always good practice around your corners. And again, if you've watched our other videos, we always talk about dry fitting an accessory. So here's my outside corner. So I'm gonna dry fit this, see how it's gonna work again before I attack it, before I weld it. Now right here we have, these are T-joint areas. And if you can see close here, this doesn't quite exact fit. We have a little bit hanging over the edge of this flashing. Again, that's gonna be pretty tough to weld. So dry fit it, wherever these meet, you just kind of come in here and dog ear this back and then come over here and dog this, this side back. Okay, so again, we have T-joint areas. We gotta pay special attention to these. All right, let me get the rest of this flashing welded down, then we'll, then we'll tackle this outside corner. All right, remember we're welding PVC. Once in a while, we gotta clean that tip off because we're gonna get some built up on the uh, edge of this tip. Now I'm gonna weld this outside corner. Now remember, I was welding reinforced membrane here. This is unreinforced, so this is not gonna take as much heat. Turn my gun down here a little bit. Now again, as an inspector, this is where they're typically gonna find most of their voids or leaks or is in these angle changes. And that's probably the area you wanna tackle first. So this is how I do this. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. You may have a totally different way, that's fine. But at the end of the day, as long as there's a leak, that's all we're looking for. So what I typically like to do, I like to kind of get it where I want it, get it centered. I'm just going to give a little tack so it doesn't slide around on me. Make sure that's holding. Now I'm going to lay a little heat on the outside. Soften this material up a little bit. Now I want to get my gun all the way back. I want to make sure this, these areas are welded solid, okay? Because if you have any air pockets in here, this curve is going to move independently of the roof. Doesn't matter if it's glued or not, over time it's going to move. If you've got any air pockets in there, odds are this is where this is going to break open you've got a leak. So get this welded all the way back to the corner. Put your gun back in here, you can use your fingers, something, if you don't want to use your fingers, use your probe. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing over here. And all the way back to that angle change. All right, now the spine here, that's another critical area. I'm gonna clean my gun off here again. Now this unreinforced material, unlike the PVC standard, you're not gonna see a lot of bleed out. Make sure I get that nice and tight right there. Okay, kind of the hard part's done. Now we gotta do is weld the flap. Now again, we don't need an inch and a half. By the time you weld an inch and a half all the way around this, you're gonna have a barrier, I don't know, maybe a couple inches it's not welded. My advice, just weld the whole thing down. It's not gonna take you that much longer. It's gonna look better. And if you happen to get a void out here, it's gonna be harder for water to get back to that hole if it's welded solid. And again, we have T-joint areas in here we have to pay special attention to. Kind of, kind of work, start working my way around, weld from the inside out, making sure I got these T-joint areas covered good. So here's where you got to step and think and leave yourself an out. If I want to weld this all the way out, now I got to weld this. Well, if I got this welded solid, when I start to weld this, I'm going to have a pinch point. So basically, you kind of want to stop. Like right there, now when I weld this, I can drag my gun all the way out. I don't have a stop and start. That's basically universal core. And again, show the inspector these creases. Feel free to check out our videos at gif.com slash roofing it right.